Hey, how's it going everyone? My name is Amazing Guy, and right now I'm going to do a quick little Photoshop tutorial or a YouTube background tutorial, if I may, on how to create scan lines. And if you don't know what scan lines are, let's go ahead and zoom in. It's these little buddies right here, these little diagonal lines that can be going up and down. Diagonal, I'm going to be teaching you in this video how to create um, the ones that go to diagonal like this and the ones that go up and down. And they're really good because, you know, they add like a little, like, they, it doesn't make the background so boring. You're trying to make something. And it goes really well with this grid effect right here. You see that red line? It's a grid effect. Um, definitely go. I made a tutorial for this one just like minutes before I'm making this tutorial. And um, definitely recommend you guys go check that out because, as you can see, it kind of goes like really well with the scan lines. And um, it's also another really popular effect. So a link to that tutorial will be in the description. Definitely go check that out, guys. Um, I know you guys, a lot of people are going to want to see that. So just throwing that out there. But this video, we're just going to go over these little lines right here. And definitely, I, I, I said before, we're going to be able to learn how to make them sideways like they are now, diagonal, my bad, and then up and down. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So um, file, new, you know, basic stuff. And it just you can create like a new little file right here, canvas, and then you want to make the width and height eight by eight. So it's gonna be like a really, really, really small square. It's gonna be like extremely small. And then um, make sure it's on pixels, guys. You don't want to mess that up. Resolution seventy two, color mode RGB, and then background contents white. This is basically what you're gonna use for a lot of things. And um, go ahead and click OK. And then it's gonna be like this extremely, really small speck on the screen, but it's actually a square. I don't know if you guys can see that yet, but that's what it is nonetheless. So before you do anything, it's you want to double click on the lock next to the background layer. And what this is going to do, uh, dialog box is going to come up, you're going to click OK, and now it's going to make that layer editable, and without doing that, guys, and you're going to you're going to try to, like, edit the size, you're going to try to start doing stuff on it, there's going to be, like, a big, like, um, no entry little sign, and it's going to be like, no, like, I don't know what to do, so make, that's really important, guys. Um, a lot of people that are watching right now might be like, okay, we know this, can we just get to the effect, so, yes. You want to go ahead and change the size of the little square. Zoom in to like 3,000%. That that's really good. So now um, that's it's still kind of small, guys, for like this whole screen. But that's 3,000%. So what you're going what you're going to want to do? You're going to take your pencil tool right here, and with, with this pencil tool, you're going to go ahead and um, it, can, it might be the brush tool, guys. So you, remember, just right click and change it to the pencil tool. And it's going to come up with a square. And I don't, if it doesn't come up with a square, then what you guys want to do to fix that, you want to make sure that your brush is on one, like one, like point PX, the abbreviation for it, I guess. And um, normal opacity 100%. Make sure it's on black because that's like the color that we're going to be doing in this video. It, um, if you want your scan lines to be a different color, obviously don't choose black, choose the color that you want them to be. But uh, black is what we're going to use for now. And then you guys are going to want to go up in the leftmost corner of this little box and you're going to click down. Once you get it lined up, and then it's going to create a little black box, and then you guys are going to continue like this by um, putting one like on the very like right lined up with the bottom right corner of the first box, and then you're going to click, you're going to create a new one, and you keep going down until you get to this corner. And it might you guys might be like, oh my god, this is going to take forever to line it up perfectly. Uh, you can go really fast actually. You don't have to line it up perfectly because it's such a small box, like error. It doesn't even like recognize error. It just makes it like Photoshop just knows to make it perfect. So you know, just kind of putting them right there and then the last one you see like how it looks like I'm off right there I don't know if you guys can see that but once I put it it you know it lines up perfectly and then there you go there's your scan line but wait you don't want to define a pattern just yet before you do that you want to take the magic eraser tool and um, you can click the regular eraser tool magic eraser tool then you're going to delete this white and you're going to delete that white and it's going to make it a little bit faded but um, don't worry guys it's not going to mess up the scan lines this is all right and then now all you have is just the black line and you're going to be like well isn't there just going to be like a bunch of little boxes yes if you zoom in all the way like on the background really far then yes but um, i don't know if you guys could tell on mine um and yeah, you can see those scan lines. That's that's what they look like, guys. So don't worry, it's gonna look like an actual line. You're not doing anything wrong. And then, so go ahead and go to Edit, Define Pattern, and it's gonna create this into a little pattern. And then you can click, you know, um, let's say Scan Line Tutorial. You can name it anything you want. That's what I'm just gonna name it. And click OK. And now you can go back to whatever you're working on. And I'll go ahead and. Um, See if I can find the scan lines. I think the scan lines are right there. So now I'm just going to go ahead and create a new layer. And um, I just took the scan lines off, guys. Just create a new layer just so I can show you how to apply it. And then go ahead and what you guys are going to do, you're going to want to take the um, the paint bucket tool. It could be the gradient. Remember, guys, right click paint bucket. That's so important if you guys are new to Photoshop. Otherwise, you guys can get really confused. So then go ahead and apply um, the 
make it completely black and you can be like yay no scan lines cool so now I'm gonna go to um, the layer and make it a screen which is gonna take all the black away guys so it's, it's, it's really useful when you're you know making stuff like a grid and um, it's just you're not just limited just to be on one layer it can kind of like overlay it without um, just you just run any problems that way so that's what you do go to blending options on the layer that you created that you're gonna be making the pattern on then you go to pattern overlay and then you can go and choose one of your patterns that you made and this was the one that I made so you go ahead and click that and as you guys can tell scan lines are back yay so um, as you can see these are the other ones I um, you know I mean um, occasionally they th this one's a gray one you guys can't really tell and um, I think uh, this one was gonna be like a blue or something I edited it but this was the one that I just made click OK and yay scan lines I mean that, that looks pretty good it's it's a really nice effect guys to, just to make things look less bland so uh, let's go ahead and hurry this up how to make the up and down ones so the up and down ones are just as easy as the others so um, here's the next one go ahead and make a new layer again the same thing 8x8 and double click the lock click OK and then zoom into le 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 thousand le percent. Um, yeah, that was, I, I don't know anything other than English, so I'm really sorry if I offended somebody there, but um, go ahead and click on the pencil tool again. No, 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 excuse me. You want to click on this rectangle tool here, and this is something that, you, if you guys watch my other tutorial, this is what you do for the grid. You want to start up in the leftmost corner, and you want to take half of the box. So that that's, that's roughly about half of the box. Um, that's half, and then what you guys are going to want to do you're gonna go and you're gonna right click inside this and you're gonna click fill and then you're gonna go to um, color and you go to color and you go all the way down to the leftmost bottom corner and you're gonna choose black and um, remember guys if you want like your scan lines to be different you can choose a different color but black is usually what looks the best and usually what most people use so click OK and then yeah you got this little deal going on half black half white so now what you're gonna wanna do you're gonna go to the magic eraser and then you guys are just going to delete the white and then you're going to get this little deal going on right here it's going to be black and it's going to be like a transparent grayish black and then um just the regular transparent and that um is actually makes like a really cool effect on it and that's what it's supposed to look like so you know guys don't want to edit it you didn't do anything wrong that's what it's supposed to do go to define pattern and let's see uh scan lines tutorial abbreviation two that's what I'm naming it. You guys can name it whatever you want. Now, go back to whatever you're using it for. Now, um, disable this. And actually, no, it's not disable it. Like, remember, guys, you want to make whatever you're doing this. You make the new layer that you're using. You make it a screen. Then you can go to the blending options, pattern overlay, and then go ahead and choose this one that that's that's what it looks like guys when you get it all done and then there you go that's how you make them up and down and those those are really big right now guys so you can go ahead if you don't want them as big you can scale it down like uh let's say um 50 percent or no you know what we'll just make it um 60 percent for now I, I get or 59 whatever you know it's it's close enough and then you click ok and then you got this little effect going on and now you got scan lines going up and down um if that you know whatever your preference is guys you can make it bigger you can make it smaller so um, just to show you guys like that it works go back to blending options pattern overlay and we'll make it even smaller you know that's what it looks like I mean I don't really like how that looks but you can make it up to a hundred percent and those you know that kinda looks like really big but it I mean if you're going for like really big scan lines or something like that just make something like look really cool like even for an avatar then you know that's that's what it does so um, I'm not really sure what like a main preference is you know like 75 might look really good so I'll go ahead and make it 75 for you guys and you know that that looks pretty cool those are pretty decently thick scan lines it just adds a little excitement to the background guys so um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial if, if this tutorial helped you out make sure to give it a like and um, watch my other videos guys um, just check the description once again to learn how to make the grid which is this right here if you guys want to see that so um, thanks for watching guys check out my other videos a link will be in the description like I said and I'll see you guys in my next video thanks for watching